Okay, well, there's no reason to isolate the radical or get it on its own side of the equal sign because it already is on this one. And since it doesn't show us the index, we know that it's a square root. So that'd be the power of one half right there. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to square both sides to get rid of that square root. Well, that leaves us with 2x minus 3, which is good. But now this equals, that was 3 minus x, which we're going to square, meaning that we're going to have to multiply it by 3 minus x again. And, uh, well, I'm going to skip a few steps on this. That should give us 9 minus 6x plus x squared. Now, it's important to remember that uh, radicals do not indicate that we have to get rid of all of the exponents, okay? If it's a whole value exponent like we have there with x squared, we're good. Uh, so, going back a few sections, we need the polynomial to equal zero so that when we factor it then we'll have some answers for this thing, okay? So we need to get rid of this <clears throat> 2x. So if I subtract 2x from one side, I'll have to subtract it from the other side. Negative 6x minus 2x would be a negative 8x. And then we've got that plus 3, so I'm going to, I'm sorry, minus 3, so I'm going to have to plus 3 both sides and that would give us 12. Now this is plus x squared and that would equal zero because all this stuff canceled now. All right well I'm gonna rearrange this just so it looks a little bit more familiar. I got zero equals this is just the commutative property of addition. I'm gonna make that x squared minus 8x plus 12. So now it has that form ax squared plus bx plus c. So to factor this thing, we need two factors of 12 that should add up to negative 8. So um, 6 and 2, maybe? If I make both these negative, then when I multiply them, I still get that positive 12. And when I add them together, I get that negative 8. So now I get 0 equals, uh, I'd have the x and this other x. But I'd have minus 6 and minus 2. So now if I just make each of these equal to zero, so that would give me x minus six equals zero and x minus two equals zero. I can solve both of these and I would find x is six and x is two. Now notice I haven't boxed these in uh, for a reason because I need to replace these back into the original, the original equation to make sure it gives me a true statement. So let's start with the 6. I've got the square root of 2 times 6 minus 3. Does this equal 3 minus x, which is 6? So that would be the square root of 12 minus 3 is 9. It needs to equal 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Some of you would stop there because you can see immediately that the square root of 9 is 3, which doesn't equal negative 3. So this means that 6 is not an answer. All right. Uh, up here then, let's try x is 2. So again, I got the square root of 2 times my x, which is now 2, minus 3. This should equal 3 minus x, which is 2. So I have the square root of 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1. This should equal 3 minus 2 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. And 1 does equal 1. This is true. So I know right now my answer is x equals 2.